Here's Nunn ahead of the field. Running the floor, and finally, the Illini able to break the ice. Nice look from Tate. Fades away from Costello and scores. I'm telling you. Marvin Clark came on for the first time for Michigan State. Here's Starks for three, and that's a big shot. Hill, tough shot. He knocks it down. Laron Black lowers his shoulder and scores. Yeah. Hill thought about a three. Gives it up, and knocking down the jumper is the freshman Laron Black. Trice gambled for the steal, and a chance for a four-point play for the Illini as Hill knocks down the triple, and he gets fouled. Starts for three, in and out. Nana Egwu keeps it alive as he tipped it away from Schilling. Nice crossover by Starks, sets up Egwu for three. He knocks it down. I'm glad he didn't take my advice. Here comes Nunn. Walls off Brandon Dawson and finishes smoothly with the left hand. You saw that is just Dawson and Costello talk. Soft touch for Kendrick Nunn. Boy, this is, you're right. I mean, just having him on the floor means that. There you go. Good start for Malcolm Hill as he scores the first bucket of the second half. Hill creates some space, forces one up, and is able to knock it down. Fades away. That didn't seem to bother him much. Just tape it up. Let me fade away. Tend to shoot. Send it back to the three-point line, and Nana Egwu with his second triple. Nunn goes right at Forbes and muscles him along the baseline. Starks creates some space. In and out. Nana Egwu keeps it alive on the offensive glass. And one of the most underrated, under-recognized elements of his game, as Starks tries a three and rolls that one home, is how quickly he snaps passes off right. of his teammates. None spinning on the baseline over the top of Trice. Hill crosses over. Too short. Offensive putback, though, is there for Austin Colbert. Great win for Illinois. 59-54 is the final. 